Charles John Huffam Dickens was born on February 7, 1812, at 1 Mile End Terrace, Landport in Port Sea Island, the second of eight children of Elizabeth Dickens and John Dickens. The family had left Kent amidst rapidly mounting debts, and, living beyond his means, John Dickens was forced by his creditors into the Marshalsea Debtors' Prison in Southwark, London in 1824. His wife and youngest children joined him there, as was the practice at the time. A few months after his imprisonment, John Dickens's mother, Elizabeth Dickens, died and bequeathed him £450. On the expectation of this legacy, Dickens was released from prison. Under the Insolvent Debtors Act, Dickens arranged for payment of his creditors, and he and his family left Marshalsea for the home of MRS Roylance. Dickens was eventually sent to the Wellington House Academy in Camden Town, where he remained until March 1827, having spent about two years there. He did not consider it to be a good school. In 1833, he submitted his first story, A Dinner at Poplar Walk, to the London Periodical Monthly Magazine. His journalism, in the form of sketches in periodicals, formed his first collection of pieces, published in 1836, Sketches by Boz. He began writing the beginning installments of Oliver Twist writing as many as 90 pages a month while continuing work on Bentley's and also writing four plays, the production of which he oversaw. On April 2, 1836 Dickens married Catherine Thompson Hogarth, the daughter of George Hogarth, editor of the Evening Chronicle. In December 1845, Dickens took up the editorship of the London. During his visit to Paris, Dickens met the French literati Alexandre Dumas, Victor Hugo, Eugène Scribe, Théophile Gautier, François René de Chateaubriand and Eugène Sue. Dickens fell in love with one of the actresses, Ellen Ternan, and this passion was to last the rest of his life. Dickens was 45 and Ternan 18 when he made the decision, which went strongly against Victorian convention, to separate from his wife, Catherine, in 1858. Divorce was still unthinkable for someone as famous as he was. When Catherine left, never to see her husband again, she took with her one child, leaving the other children to be raised by her sister Georgina who chose to stay at Gad S. Hill. After journalism, Dickens spent more time writing his novels. Other works soon followed, including A Tale of Two Cities and Great Expectations, which were resounding successes. Set in London and Paris, A Tale of Two Cities is his best, known work of historical fiction, and with over 200 million copies sold it is regularly cited as the best, selling novel of all time. Themes in Great Expectations include wealth and poverty, love and rejection, and the eventual triumph of good over evil. Dickens's approach to the novel is influenced by various things including the picaresque novel tradition, melodrama, and the novel of sensibility. According to Ackroyd, other than these, perhaps the most important literary influence on him was derived from the fables of the Arabian Nights. Satire and irony are central to the picaresque novel. Comedy is also an aspect of the British picaresque novel tradition of Lawrence Stern, Henry Fielding, and Tobias Smollett. The Pickwick Papers Oliver Twist Nicholas Nickleby The Old Curiosity Shop Barnaby Rudge A Christmas Carol Martin Chuzzlewit The Chimes The Cricket on the Hearth Dombey and Son The Haunted Man David Copperfield Bleak House Hard Times Little Dorrit A Tale of Two Cities Great Expectations Our Mutual Friend The Signal Man Edwin Druid On June 8, 1870, Dickens suffered another stroke at his home after a full day's work on Edwin Druid. He never regained consciousness, and the next day he died at Gad's Hill Place. 